Hey, hi, hello. Hi, pugs. I am going to do a quick little video here and show you how I kind of put away some stuff like seasonal stitching. And oh, do you want to say hi? So what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you, honey. Come here. You want to say hello? Okay. All right. So here is Luna Moon. She, apparently she's going to assist in this operation here. Uh, Loki Apple is currently in his little sweater. Yeah, I know. I know. And he doesn't know how he feels about winter. So uh, it is officially time to start putting away Christmas stuff. I am delayed a couple weeks, but that's okay. I keep this white Christmas tree, this tree out all year long. I've got some sloths and stuff on it now. But I'm officially putting my winter Christmas stitching away. Loki Apple was feeling neglected and wanted to come on the camera and say hello. Can you say hi? Say I'm in my little sweater. I packed away all of their winter sweaters and their little jackets and everything. And I can't find it anywhere because I did a bunch of like master reorganization, but then forgot where I reorganized everything. So this is his one little sweater he wears right now. I got to get him some other ones. I put him in a baby onesie, but you know, those are actually designed for you to be able to take them off over the shoulders of an actual baby. So I put it on him and in two minutes he can fold it right down and take it off. So he is in an official little sweater. He, he's been shivering a lot. Oh, come on, buddy. You know, you love it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Winter is hard for you. Winter is hard. All right, so we're going to put away some stuff. I wanted to show you some of my supplies that I use. Uh, and my son is going to stay out of camera, but he wants to wants to watch and help, right? But you can't be on the camera, right? All right, so what we're going to use, we are going to use Luna Pog. She just wants to assist. We are going to be using pool noodles. I buy these um, spring and summer at the dollar store. I usually buy anywhere between 20 and 40 of them. If they allow me to, I buy an entire case of them. I use them for shipping, fragile things, and I also use them for storing stuff here in the house. So, and my kids love them because whatever ones I'm not using, they use as little lightsabers, don't you? Pew, 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 pew. pew, pew, pew. Okay, so obviously don't use like used pool noodles. Like you get clean ones and then put them away. Okay, don't don't go out to your pool shed and like grab the oldy moldy ones. No, so new pool noodles. So that's number one. Pew, pew, pew. I've also seen some places have had some like Halloween pool noodles, like the orange and black. So you never know because crafters are coming out more and more using these noodles. They're not just used for poolside adventures and lightsaber fun. So uh, these are the pool noodles that we're gonna have. I cut them to size. I also have a small bubble wrap. I'm gonna have a supply list in this video below that has all of the supplies that I'm actually showing you that I actually bought and I actually use. Nothing is sponsored in this video. Uh, so I have, I have just links down below. Okay. So I have the small bubble, I have the noodles, and then I use these, oh my goodness, can you get that out of my face? Thank you. I use just these basic shipping labels, shh, you gotta be quiet. Uh, pack is on, eight and a half by, They're basically these can go in your laser printer or your inkjet printer, and I bought like a, a hundred pack, or hundred labels, so 50 sheets. And basically what they are is they're like, can you get that little noodle out of my video? You love silly goose. Okay, so basically, so there's a separation here so you can like peel off and do shipping labels. But these have been awesome to do labels around the house, seasonal decorating to put your large labels down. So what I did is I put my labels, I'm putting what is gonna be in the box and then I can number the boxes, hand number them as I go, or I can print out my number of boxes. So I'm gonna put these labels on the front and side of one of my boxes here. here. Hold on, I gotta hold up my box, baby. Box, box, baby. Do, 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 do. Okay, can you put that down, you little, you little sugar snap? Okay, 
uh, basic banker box set. I got this at the Mart of Wall, but you can also get them online. And then I have like this older style one here. They're attempting to make them like fancier with like prints and stuff, but come on, we all know what a banker's box is, right? So these are not archival safe, okay? These are not acid free. So I am using them for short term storage. These are not for my heirloom pieces that I'm stowing away forever and ever. However, I am using, <laughs> yeah, keep your little face out of the camera, baby doll. When I, and I got a pug here. Holy moly, everyone wants to look organized. Okay, okay. I have the colors of the rainbow. I got these online and this is acid free tissue paper. So I am gonna use this to wrap up my models. Okay, so we're gonna use acid free paper. We're gonna use the labels on the side of the banker's boxes. And I'm going to show you an example here. We're going to put away some of my uh, stitching here and I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so I have this just in case I need it, but I probably won't use this. Now, none of these are being shipped. These are all going to stay here at the house, so, but I wanted to show you how I work with this. So again, this is going to go on those banker boxes once I open it. Thank you so much, Mr. All right, so I've cut down some noodles to size. And what I mean by that is I got here, I have my thing and I, I score it down the middle. So what I do is, no, don't pick him up. Put him down, please. Put him down, put him down. So I take my noodle, I take scissors, just regular scissors, not your good scissors. And then I cut down the center so I get in the middle of that noodle. And I cut down here so that it can open up. So here is one of them cut to size and how you do it. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a box, I've got the tissue. I have a bunch of like smalls and stuff that need to be wrapped up, but we'll work with that later. So what we're gonna do, I have my box, I have it labeled. I'm gonna get some tissue out and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap a couple sheets around, making sure it's like touching, that we're covering the stitching and stuff. And I'll show you. This is by no means, I am not a textile conservationist. I am just giving you a method of how I have been working on putting my stuff away. And I hope this is helpful. All right, so here I have my piece, it's on a vintage, it's in a vintage frame. I stitched this up. This is Blackbird Designs and it's uh, the Cardinal piece. I got it out of the home for the, I stitched it from the home for the holidays book. I stitched it on it. Oh my goodness. Did you just fall off that couch? Are we supposed to be playing on the couch? No. Okay, here we go. So I, I want to kind of get all the tissue around that piece so that it's covered and it's gonna slip just right down into that box. I'm not gonna tape it or anything. But what I am gonna do is see this edge here. I'm gonna take my noodle that I've cut down. Hey, and this is real life. I'm about to show you something and I realize it's not even gonna fit in the box. I have had this, I have kept this piece out ever since I stitched it. So, you know, because Christmas 24 seven, 365, I haven't put it away. But now it's getting to the point where my my wall space, I do need to switch them out seasonally based on stuff that I purchased like at the thrift store and then stuff that I have framed myself. Sweetheart, hey, hey, I'm doing a video, babe. I don't really have any of my own models up on the walls because I'm getting ready for Nashville Noodle Work Market. So I have to pack and have those up. And what's not getting ready for Nashville is at Mount Mary Commons where I have a display set up. All right, so I'm slipping this down and I'm just putting it kind of on the lip of the frame and then this is twofold. Number one, I'm gonna be able to store this and it's gonna give some space in between pieces so that the stitching isn't gonna be, like the frame of one piece isn't gonna be attached to the frame of the other. So it's gonna give it, it's gonna give it safety and it's gonna give it a little bit of a lip to pull it up so it's not on the stitching itself okay it's on the frame but when I stack if I stack pieces there'll be a buffer space between them okay 
So here I have my other cardinal piece, winter. I kept this out all year long. This is, it was out of the Just Cross Stitch magazine. And now uh, Ryan Mack of Wild Violet Cross Stitch, she did release it. So it is available over on her website. I think it's Wild Violet Cross Stitch. So again, tissue, keep it safe. I'm gonna get my, my noodle. We love noodles here, don't we? I'm in my sweatpants. We're organizing sweatpants. Thank you for helping me here. Okay, again, just keeping it on the frame. Keep that separation. And then the last one I will frame up and we'll put it in here. The acid-free tissue paper works great for wrapping up your smalls and stuff. Use your bubble as needed or as you feel. I actually have been writing on my boxes. Oh, like on my box, there's no models in this. And it's, and then I hand wrote the season, I wrote Christmas, winter. So I have a banker box for all my seasons now, not just so I can, I can change it out if I need to or reprint out labels. So I hope this is helpful. Pugs, pug assistance and uh, happy organizing and creating. Okay. Thanks everyone.